Alright. Okay. So, so this is K. Yeah, K is a uh, DC motor capable of 1800 RPM at 12 volts and 4200 RPM at 24 volts. Okay, now we'll measure it. We've put a one and a half pound wheel and we're going to use this line here as a fulcrum line. So we have about ten and a half inches from the wheel to the fulcrum. And now wait. And we measure the weight. Which basically is just about three pounds. So we have three pounds times ten and a half. So that's thirty one and a half, I think. Sure about that? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do I have? Three times. 10.5. Yeah, it's got to be one and a half. Okay. We can maybe decree it that way. Mm. All right. Okay, we'll have to hold this from tor torquing. Should I get the... Yeah. Blows its cork if you don't, if you start to overload it. Okay. Let's start it easy. So now we want to go to, it's easier, if, it, I think it works better if I just hold it. So we'll go to 12 volts. Gyro ability, in other words, it wants to it wants to precess. Now the, there's too much weight. This motor, if I hold it all the way back here, it way it does overcome the gyro. Now if we power the precession, now it'll go up. So that's the difference between a natural precession, which that's as much as it wants to do, versus powering the precession, forcing it, and then it will actually there is enough to make a way go up. I'm just following it with this hand, I'm not pushing it. Now, the thing that we want to look at on this is the amp meter doesn't change. It's no matter what kind of load we put. Here's the natural load, here's the power load. I am feeling that torque. It is putting out torque. And we, it's hard for us to measure the torque, but that, it's putting out that as much torque. It's putting out that 31 and a half inch pounds of torque that it takes to hold this thing up. And if we had it on a pivot like we had on this one, it would actually just precess and then we could force the precession and it takes itself up. But the important thing to note is that we had no change of power when we loaded it, when it was a gyro. Now we have 
a better spin. Now it will, you can see, I don't have to put much to it. It's actually holding itself up. And I, I'm just allowing it to precess. Now if I put a little bit of push in the precess, it's much more powerful. It really just goes up into a heel. In other words, that's a heel that's right there. So we power precession with a free gimbal, a free pivot, and you get a spiral. Now that spiral, or helix, or the vortex, is, like some people call it the hidden secret of physics, but it really is the basics in life, uh, in motion, in planetary motion, accumulation of debris into a planet. I think you could say that. I mean, that's really for some other type of physicist to handle that. But, and this idea that you can form a spiral and then encrypt that spiral uh, with what Eric Lightweight, Professor Lightweight called bumps that he didn't like. And uh, we now think that those bumps are really encodements or encryptions that could affect maybe even straightening out the DNA because the DNA is a helix, it's a gyroscopic helix. And Royal Fife in the 30s, saw this when he came up with the electron microscope and he actually watched DNA correct with oscillations. And in other words, this, once you put a pivot on this, in other words, instead of having it held basically in one, uh, so only one thing can happen, but if we put a pivot on this, then we start to get into the spiral, pivoting around this stand that we put on it, and it becomes a spiral. And that's the basic formation of a DNA spiral or assembly of planetary forming or uh, solar system forming or atomic formation, electrons and so forth. And all the um, encryptions or bending of the spin plane, rotating the spin plane are in nature all the way from, I actually think, uh, into what makes an electron. Could be called a meson, a guark, or whatever, but that is the uh, the mechanical encryption that transfers into a spiral and is held in the spiral, but can be bumped and changed. And it looks like it, well, Royal Fife, Fife said and proved that it actually could cure cancer with these various oscillations. But this is how I don't know that he quite was onto how the mechanics worked how the atomic mechanics work, or even the molecular mechanics. What it is, it's just a fundamental mechanics that has been passed by in physics. <laughs>